Brian David Marshall here with our good friend Dan Ward. And Dan, you're going to show us a single card spotlight here on Consulate Surveillance. Now, this is a card that at first glance looks to me just like a fog machine. Yeah, it's a, an enchantment for four mana that just prevents essentially two sources from hitting you at some point, whether through creatures or spells. So not a very powerful fog machine on its own. Yeah, not really. For four mana, preventing two sources, not really where you want to be normally. However, I've come up and developed a way to utilize it in an archetype that people are playing this weekend that will improve the accuracy of fundamentally playing your deck. So you're, you're playing an Aetherworks Marvel deck but you're using Consulate Surveillance somehow to help you find your Aetherworks Marvel. Explain what that means. So everyone's playing all of the puzzle knots and jamming all of the artifacts. However, I'm playing a four color version that centered around this card and Madcap Experiment. So okay. for those of you that don't know what Madcap Experiment is, it's a sorcery for three and a red that says, reveal cards until you hit an artifact. Uh, take one damage for each card revealed this way. However, if you have Consulate Surveillance in play, you can pay the two light, uh, the two energy, excuse me, and no matter how many cards you hit, whether it's 35, 50, whatever, you will get Aetherworks Marvel since it's the only artifact I'm playing in my deck. So you're guaranteed to hit it, even if you have to go 35, 40 cards deep, you take no damage. It doesn't say loss of life, which yeah. we've seen on cards like this in the past. It says damage. Yeah, I've had many opponents this weekend just pick this card up and read it and go, good job or well done. <laughs> and so that's been kind of cool. And for those people that played Belcher, it has that kind of feel, that ad nauseum storm, you know, Angel's that's, Grace kind of feel. That's kind it. of what it feels like to me if you're just keep flipping through your deck till you hit the one card you want to find. Yeah, and the thing I like most about this, it, it's good at preventing sources against some of these Infect decks that are out now, but it gives you more consistency because this deck has a lot of inconsistency issues. Uh, sometimes you'll get your six energy, you'll activate the Marvel, and you'll miss. Whereas if you hit this, it can give you more energy to go off the following turn or keep you alive to be able to untap to play more energy efficient cards. It's almost, oh, so so it, it's an Angel's Grace ad nauseum combo. It's a dark ritual yeah. for you. It's It can be a fog if that's what you need against some of the green red energy decks. Exactly. I, now, I know you, you talked about using this card against some of the Pummeler decks. Yeah. In particular, right? Yeah, it's it's quite insane actually because they want to do kind of an infect strategy with Uncaged Fury. They want to pump up their pummeler, um, but it just stops that. Just paying the two energy just stops their entire game plan. They almost have to trade one pump spell on their creature per turn, depending on how much energy you're producing. Uh, one of the cool things I did this tournament is my opponent discarded Bloodfell Vampire, the 4 4, had no cards in hand. Trigger on the stack hit me for two, I prevented it, and it also prevents the combat damage because it's from the source <laughs> until end of turn. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. You know, it looks like such an innocent card, a bunch of Kaladesh citizens milling about in the mall, enjoying a comfortable day, you know, maybe a weekend, getting spied <laughs> on by the consulate, sure, yeah. but it seems so innocent. And Dan, you found a really fascinating way to take advantage uh, of this card and to use it as part of a uh, really feels like almost like what we would see as a, a, a card engine in a wider, older, eternal format. Really well done here. Consulate Surveillance, it's a card you want to take a look at in Kaladesh.